Hello, this is Evan here from The Trade Risk on Thursday, May 20th, 2021. We are intraday right now, and this is our weekly swing trade ideas video where we bring you stocks based on specific technical criteria, all of which we're gonna break down for you in just a moment. As always, these videos are sponsored by our partners over at Investors Business Daily. We curate our long ideas from their stock lists. You can get access to their stock lists with a link in the description of this video. So I was feeling a bit under the weather yesterday. I couldn't get a usual Wednesday publication out. So I'm doing this a day later. Usually these come out on Wednesdays, but figured I wanted to touch base on some trades we're seeing out there, some potential setups we're seeing out there, and just a little bit on the market action. Let's let's actually spend some time first on the broad indices because there's some important developments that sort of occurred here over the past two days. Let's take a look at the S&P, the SPY ETF here. And you can see yesterday, the market started the session off with this pretty ugly gap down. And that was coming off the heels of Tuesday's poor close. So we had this open at the highs on Tuesday, close at the lows. So a fairly bearish looking candle. And then we came in with this really ugly sort of gap down of about 1% in towards the, the prior lows here from the week earlier. Now, yesterday, or I'm sorry, this session here, which yes, was yesterday on Wednesday, was a great excuse for the sellers, for the bears to break this market down, to leg lower and to put some more pain on this recent pullback. But that did not happen. We got the exact opposite sort of reaction that took place. We opened up near the lows, and this especially shows on the queues, for instance. So we opened up at the basic lows of the session, and then we proceeded to rally all day into the close. So we did get the exact opposite as follow through selling. And in fact, today now we are seeing the market gap higher and then rally throughout the whole day, effectively putting in a fairly convincing follow through session to the upside, taking out the prior resistance here from a few days earlier. This is a pretty significant short term hold by the market. I think this is quite bullish behavior, at least in the short term. I don't think we're necessarily quote unquote out of the woods yet, but this is at least a good attempt here and a good indication that the market did not have enough energy to probe lower and to break us down. And therefore, we should be keeping our eyes here on more follow through higher on this market progressing to the upside. And that's what we're going to spend most of our time on in this video is just looking at some trade ideas that support that sort of long case. So I wanted to point that out. We're going to have more about this market action in tomorrow's long form market analysis video, but I wanted to touch on that because it is pretty influential here over the short term. Let's get into some of our trade ideas. So the first one up on our list is SIMO. So this one here is hitting our gap down recovery scan. So all of these stocks we find by scanning the market and we have all of these scans built out for TC2000. So if you are a TC2000 user, you can head to our store. There should be a link appearing in the top right. There's links in the description of this video, but you can download pretty much all of these scans. Some are free, some are paid on our website. So this particular scan is looking for a stock that has gapped down on the session, but proceeds to rally throughout the day. In other words, it's kind of the same behavior. There were lots of stocks meeting this criteria yesterday with when the market gaps down and then just rallies throughout the day. It is typically an early indication of potential turning points. This is for traders who like to get in early or like to get that turning point, kind of get near the low. They're not, this isn't a point at which there's ever any confirmation at this time yet. It just is the, the, the reactionary sort of point. So SIMO I think is interesting because one, yes, we did get a gap down. We failed to hold lower and now we are probing higher. It's coming on very heavy volume and it's coming at a pretty significant area because if I kind of draw a general line in here around this $63 area and zoom out a bit. You can see this has been an inflection point for the stock and the stock has been kind of mostly sideways. It's lost some momentum over the past couple of months, 
But the fact that this breakdown attempted to occur at this significant spot and it's seemingly getting rejected, in other words, a false breakdown, this to me is interesting and I would be paying attention to it, especially if it can close the session over 63 and then if it can find follow through, then you easily have a stock here that has demonstrated support and dip buyers coming in, heavy volume and could start to rally or continue to rally just like we saw in say the Qs yesterday or the S&P 500 yesterday. So SIMO, that's our first trade idea. It comes from our gap down recovery scan. If you're looking for it on our store, that's what it's called. Number two is LSPD. So this is Lightspeed here. It's in the software tech space. And this is putting in a very, very strong session today. It's up 15%. And you can see the volume is pouring into this stock as well. Going to be the highest traded volume uh, probably in the last couple of months once everything's said and done. But it is getting a good old thrust above and away from the lower end of this range. And this is spotted and found with our high volume strong close scan. That's the scan that looks for heavy volume, a good close on the day, a strong close near the upper highs and an above average range. Those are sort of the criteria that this, this particular scan uses. And because we are recording this before the actual close of the session, it, the scan is always going to use kind of the current price and assume that that's the close price. And, and that's why it's showing up now, even though technically, you know, the market hasn't quite closed yet. So LSPD, Good move off of the lows here. Again, if I kind of frame this out, it's gone nothing for quite nowhere for quite a while. And now it's getting this nice thrust off of the lows here. Looks like it's en route to maybe get back up towards the highs here. And then certainly the icing on the cake is if this can break out over $81, but we're far away from that at this point. So LSPD, high volume, strong close scan. And I wanted to sort of throw one in on the, on the short side here. And that's ANF. And this has lost a little bit of ground now from when it just popped up on my list a little bit earlier when I was curating these, these stocks here. But this is coming from the, the exact inverse of that past scan. So this is our high volume weak close scan. So basically looking for, again, heavy volume, above average range, and a weak close on the session. And ANF, I think, fits all of that. And it is an interesting one because it is testing this support right now. Now, when I looked at it earlier, it was trading right around $37, which was starting to violate this support. And that's really what you'd wanna see here. If you're gonna take a shot on this at the short side here, if you're gonna look for this range to sort of break down and fail or roll over, then you're gonna to wanna to see us below, call it 37, 3680 or so. That's what's really gonna get this in motion. So it's sort of a contrarian trade right now because the market's all lifting higher, but I wanted to throw one out there. If you are looking to you know, balance out a book or, or just look for some short exposure, play some contrarian here, look for ANF if this gets follow through below $37. Next up, we will look at some consolidation scans. The first is uh, NT, GR. So this is Netgear. And I believe this is hitting our Bollinger Band squeeze scan. So let's throw on some Bollinger Bands here. You can see the squeeze starting to come in really the past couple of days. It's, it's widening a little bit right now, but it's kind of the tightest point in here that we've seen in recent memory here for Bollinger Bands. And if you just look at price action, you can see price just going sideways here and oscillating in a sideways range. And once again, when we zoom out, I like the I just like the longer term sort of clear levels that we can pay attention to. So you first off have the, the 36 level that we held down here that's kind of approximately the March lows, kind of near the October highs, so on and so forth. So, so support was basically carved out there yet again. And then if we draw, and again, this is, this is messy. I, I don't intend to this to be super precise by any stretch. I don't use the levels to be precision levels, but you know, roughly this 39.60 up to $40, kind of where we found some support in early April, resistance here in January, found some support, you know, we've bounced around this inflection point, but if this can start to go up, and of course, you know, you could get more specific, you could draw this sort of downtrend line in here and say, okay, this was sort of tightening up here, lower highs, and now we're starting to break out. Lots of ways you can sort of carve this out, but basically, you know, it's a stock that's you know, been in an uptrend over the past year or so, it's consolidating at highs here and it's starting to lift up. And the Bollinger Bands were recently coming from a compression state, which usually means you're about to see some, you know, expansion in range or directional movement. So lots of jargon there, basically saying, this is an interesting one here. It's coiled up, it's at the low end of the range. Let's see if it can start to break out here 
and find some follow through. Very similar to that is our last name here is MKC. So this is uh, McCormick here. This is a longer term sort of look. This is coming from our ultimate consolidation scan. So it doesn't use Bollinger Bands, but it's looking for tight price action that's basically you know overlapping and moving sideways and really hasn't gone anywhere. And MKC very much fits that pattern here, almost on multiple time frames, but specifically it was looking at it on just the short term here, the past couple of weeks has this gone you know, very, very sideways here. If we zoom out again, we kind of carve out some levels. This 91, 92 area has been a point of consolidation and sort of inflection in here. And the fact that this has gone sideways pretty tight now and it's bumping up against this level, again, just lends itself to, to wanting to pay attention to it to see if we can get that momentum above that level and start to break out. Again, with all of these, especially the consolidations here, no trigger, no trade type of thing where we're just watching this, we're observing this until it actually actually makes the move that we want to see as traders, you may want to just keep it on a watch list and not, not jump in so early. At least that's my take on it. Everyone obviously needs to sort of think about the execution in their own way. And then of course, you know, if you looked at this on a weekly chart, this kind of tells the picture as well. You can see just how tight the past five weeks have been in this stock and looks like it wants to kind of start to lift up here after consolidating for quite some time. So that's it, that's the last idea I have. So a couple of different looks there, consolidations and some high volume movers going on, some gappers that are getting reversed. So hopefully you found something interesting there. Again, do your homework on all of these names, please. That's most important is to make them your own and make sure they make sense to you. And I'd love to know, leave a comment below, what name stood out to you? Is there anything that uh, you really like out of these six names we just looked at, or let's see, five names we just looked at, or if there's something else you're trading, leave a comment below, I'd love to hear it. And as always, I thank you for tuning in every, usually every Wednesdays, today's a Thursday, but usually every Wednesdays for trade ideas, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us at The Trade Risk. And be sure to check out the links in the description of this video, that's to the IBD, stock lists to get on board with those and then the store front for tc2000 the scans that we have available and indicators if you're a tc2000 tc2000 user check those out on our website thanks so much and we'll see you tomorrow for the market analysis video